Hello everyone, Jeff here, and welcome back to God of Weapons. Um, I love this game. <laughs> That's all. I just love this game. Uh, we finally unlocked Golem. So uh, there's been a lot of requests to play this guy because apparently he's extremely broken. And uh, let's explore that today. Uh, so Golem, he gets 50 armor. You get <laughs> That's a lot. You get one melee power for every two armor. So you just straight out the gate get 25 melee power. That's kind of good. Uh, move speeds reduced by 30%. It's whatever. You can't dodge. No ranged weapons. Armor mods are doubled. And dash distance. That dash distance down kind of sucks. But um, it's fine. So our goal is to get 100 armor with Golem for his relic, which should be easy. And then we can either um, get a crest, which adds base damage for every two armor or... The Bat Amulet, which gives lifesteal, which it buffs Vitality and lifesteal items. So uh, we're going to go Crest. Uh, these are our options. I'm not like super high on any of these, honestly. I guess I haven't used a Halberd yet, so we'll do that. Obviously, we're going to play on difficulty five. I've got a few uh, a few more meta progression. Oh, we, we are a slow man. All right. I got a few more meta progression things here, so we're gonna just like see what. Um, guess we can increase selling item cost. I don't know. We're almost done with meta progression. It looks like almost everything's filled up. Um, wow, I'm just trying to start the run, and he, he is a slow mover. But uh, this guy seems like he's gonna be absurdly strong. Huh. The halberd slashes and stabs, uh, much like a sword in Brotato. Interesting. Um, I don't know if I like that. Well, I don't like it by itself. I like it in conjunction with other weapons. Um, I very much would like to use that uh this so let's just put that here uh because that gives us life steal and um you know adjacent pole arms and whatnot although this is adjacent armor items give two armor so we're gonna also gonna want that so i'm immediately met with an awkward situation where the two items I have chosen don't really line up so well in the sense that I can't buy the iron grass. But I think I'm going to take this pole arm. I think I'm going to lock this and we're just go to the next wave and not really worry about it. Um... One thing we're probably going to want is attack speed, is my guess. I mean, I guess we can move around. Don't have to stand still. Oh, that was a nice batch of food there. Yeah, I mean, getting one armor for standing still is like, whatever. Who, who cares? I mean, it does do more base damage, but we're already one tapping everything anyway. We do so much damage. I mean, we probably shouldn't even be using whole arms to be honest um this okay wait 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 hold up i want this because you know i may have i may have done goofed up there because right this isn't gonna fit now mm. wait no 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 i got this i got this this here this just so let me cook this here, this here. Um, okay, well, again, kind of awkward with our armor not really fitting. But again, I think it's fine. Um, yeah, yeah, we could, we can, we could figure it out. I was <laughs> I was thinking about um, placing the armor there on that wave, but then I was like, oh, we're also going to get the halberd. 
but I didn't put an extra square in the top left, which is what I wanted to do. I was accounting for the size of a scythe, not a halberd. It's kind of interesting because I don't... Because our base damage is so high, did, like, do we even really care about having like these halberd type weapons? It almost feels like we don't. Um, I want like this, right? Um, I'm, I'm just gonna put this here. It just, it's such, it's such a massive damage boost. And it gives more arm. We have 79 armor. There's 71. We have 71 damage reduction on wave three. Okay. Sure. 74. There's another halberd. Um. We don't really like need it at all. I guess we could take a burnt coin. There's honestly nothing wrong with grabbing a few of those type of items. Uh, I don't want to keep rerolling though. Like honestly, we don't have to use bull arms. I'm just it, that's just what we started with. Uh, if we see a battle axe or something like that, I'll probably switch. If we see any kind of like. You know, anything that's melee scaling is acceptable for this guy, obviously. And I mean, logically, with our starter item, fast weapons would be better than anything else. So it's possible we should just be using daggers or something. But I mean, I, I like the cleave that's going on for sure. Need to make some better space, although. Although. Um, okay, I realize that looks like potentially the craziest looking thing you could do, but hold up a second. Um, I mean, it doesn't even, without that, the DPS goes down by like a lot, so that part kind of sucks. But if if we were to do something a little different, right, like just something like this and put this here and then put this here, put this down here. Oh, look, we've reached 100 armor. Um, <laughs> Very quickly, actually, actually, wait, wait, wait. We can do this. And this now we're um now we're doing things. Um none of this really matters. I would like attack speed, yes, thank you. Although maybe we should be taking scroll of mastery, but I don't know. How are we ever supposed to lose with this much damage reduction? And again, I don't even think what we're doing is optimal. I think this is like, I think this is probably much worse than just going with a bunch of like daggers or short swords that scale with like 100% melee damage. But maybe like having one halberd is probably definitely a good idea so you can stack your armor around it for sure. Um, but outside of that, like I don't even know. I mean, I guess you could go longsword too. Um, let's just take some space up here. I mean, yeah. It's like, it's so much. 12 armor is six melee damage. Who needs move speed, honestly? Uh, we don't have any luck, which is... Probably the only thing we have going against us right now. I'm going to sell this coin to take this. We have like a starting luck, but whatever. Um, luck is the best stat in the game. Well, luck and range are tied for the best stats in the game from my experience so far. 
Although luck early is more important and then range later is uh, just a game changer. Um, continuing, if you're still watching, um, you probably invested enough to comment on this video. If that's the case, I'm wondering today, let's see, yesterday we were asking about 90s movies. Which favorite 2000s band, singer, performer, artist? Um, I like the idea that like when I was talking about the grunge stuff in other videos and metal stuff, um, people threw out bands that I hadn't heard before. I haven't got a chance to listen to them because that's relatively recent that they've been posted. But um, I like that I have stuff to look forward to. And I think everyone getting exposure to new like new music and whatnot is awesome. His music is awesome. That's a Warhammer, huh? Tax strike the ground, causing area of effect damage. 1.37 speed. It's actually, like, it is slower than our other weapons. However, um, Does it not actually fit? No, because it's four across. Interesting. Well, maybe we just skip it. You know, whatever. Who cares? And there's another scythe here. We could drop an iron cure ass and just like. Throw yeah, I mean, that's probably right. Just put this here. Because I mean, we get polearm and scythe stat. And we get bonus life steal for putting them together like that. It's just good. Um, I I will I will lose five vitality to gain five critical. Basically always. Alberto and it's blue. Um. So the thing about this is. I just want to, like, buy it. I don't want to... I don't want to sell another one. So, I'm just going to leave it locked, and... That's a tier 3 dagger. Okay. You can join, and you can come in, and we'll just, we'll just go with this. This is fine. Yeah, this guy is really strong. Why is there an elite? Did I... Did I spot? Oh, I did. I did take a Dragon Ball Elixir, didn't I? He didn't do any damage, though. And that's the thing, right? The pole arm right now is only giving us plus damage for standing still, which who cares? We already one hit everything. I think once we get enough percent damage later on, our DPS is going to be outrageous. Uh, what's also outrageous is the fact that we only got one level here. Um. Okay. Let me cook. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six. No, I goofed it. Um, okay. I did goof it. All right. Okay. Okay. We'll, we'll figure. We'll we'll figure it out. Um, this here, this here, this goes here. This can slide into here. Um. Ooh, I think the Iron Cure Ass might have to go. Unfortunate. Unfortunate. Because it doesn't... 
doesn't work the way we want it to. Um, this comes back down here. This goes back up here. Yeah. Yep. All right. Um, let's put this here. This goes down here. This goes here. You know what? We could just hold on to this for another shop. It's whatever. We don't have to buy it. Um, dual swords are kind of insane. But um, it, we did dual swords on our last run, so. It's going to let it ride. Let's get some dice. And armor. We don't need more armor, though. We just don't. We don't. I mean, I guess I'll take a whetstone. Like, whatever. It doesn't matter. I'm gonna stand still and not even have my hand on the controller for for this wave. When I say controller, I mean keyboard. Although, I assume you can play this with controller. I haven't even thought about it. Look, we're basically unstoppable. I don't understand why this guy's so overtuned. Starting with 50 armor is just silly. Like, who cares? Who cares if we can't dodge? I don't want to dodge. I just want to hit things. We also look pretty cool. Very warrior raid armor look. All right, let's not mess this up again. So I'm going to sell that. We're going to move these down here. Yes. 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 Uh, I would like to lower our vitality for five more crit. I don't want Devil's Horn because negative luck is bad. I do want a Mystical Finger. I don't like the resource gain down, but also, like, who cares, right? I think there's a decent argument to be made for selling this pole arm or selling this scythe and just throwing armor in the middle here, but mm, it's close. Anything interesting? Let's, you know what? Let's just switch out Albert's now. That is a bracer. Bracer is kind of insane when it's when it's six armor. It's a little bit better. OK, that's fine. We're we're totally good. Big old Halber boy, don't get in my way. I mean, this this is looking like the easiest character to win with so far. Maybe not, I don't know about strongest yet, but we'll see. There, we can do some dumb things. Like all you need is a little bit of life steal and this character can't die, which is hilarious, right? All right, two more levels, not like super exciting, but it is what it is. I'm just going to do something like this. That was kind of awkward, but should be fine. Should be fine, I should say. Um, I would like experience gain. Yes, please. I don't care about the potion belt at all. It doesn't do anything. Roll a few more times to see if we get very specifically this. I would like percent damage. We got movement speed, which is the worst possible option because we actually would prefer to have negative movement speed. Um, ooh, tier two thunder spear. 
you know what? We have the pole arms to make it happen, and I can just run it up along this side, and it can get the buff from the crest. I'm in. I'm in for it. Um, I'm actually just going to sell this whetstone, too, so we can... Oh, wait. I thought that was a different item. Damn. Oh. Hey. Um, okay, I'm going to buy this. I'm going to lock that. We could take it now, but we're not going to. I'm going to just take some more armor. We do need some vitality from something. Because 67 is not a lot of HP. Uh, although, this is probably the least I've ever been hurt by elites and getting hit by them in my history of playing this game so far. Which is... Um, impressive, because we've had some busted runs. But I don't think I've had armor this high ever. I'm assuming you also can't get to 100% damage reduction, similar to like Rotato, where it's actually, it's actually fractions, like even with thousands and thousands of armor, you're still at like 99.9% .9 damage reduction. And when enemies are doing, you know, tens of thousands of damage, you'll still take damage and whatnot. Or more than that, I don't even know. It gets kind of silly once you get over over floor 100 in Brotato. That aside, uh, let's... We need a lot of spaces here. Oh, I want that spot. Um, okay, I want that. I want this down here, though. I would really like... Okay, so this takes seven spots, so we need one, two, three, four, five. Ugh. Oh, no, it takes six? Okay, well, I'm rolling. Get out. In. Yes, good, good. You can go. Um, Welcome to that. Oh, we have 41 max HP. Not necessarily amazing. For sure. We have um You know, we don't have much attack speed. What if we just sell this? Buy this. Oh, miniature lantern is is everything here. We'll roll a couple more times just because we have a lot of money. I'm gonna save the miniature lantern. Uh dust. Dust on 41 HP, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Kind of gross layout there, but it's fine. I will take this. We have one more spot. Malevolent Observer. Uh, not right now, unfortunately. Pierce doesn't do anything. Ritual Doll? We have no lives. That's dangerous. Uh, there's a better scythe. There's a Magic Prism. Doesn't really do much. There is a purple halberds, which I'm just going to sell the purple halberd. I want to keep the these for lifesteal. OK. This is actually going to go to the Thunder Spear. Oddly, I kind of missed it and it's still upgraded, which is funny. All right, we have. I'm going to roll one more time to see if we was max HP anywhere. There's not. Okay. So I guess our only concern right now is the fact that we have 41 HP. However, um, on the other hand, we um, have a lot of life still. And we have an absurd amount of range.
but I am not opposed to taking a big HP item after this floor. Also, we got a we got a free level out of that chest. We're an absolute menace right now. Just uncomparably strong. I uh, where do we even I guess here and then up here. We can do things with that. I don't know. This goes up here for now. We want vitality. I don't want neg negative luck, though. That is a. That is a great axe. But we're doing polearm things, so maybe not we need. Turtle shell is perfect. Also, turtle shell is armor. So that's nice. I, you know what, I would, I would like to, to upgrade this. All right, um, the Thunder Fist. Oh, I love the Thunder Fist. Uh, not great here, though. That's because it scales off magic damage. Uh, Masterwork Arrow, also not fantastic. I don't think we're reducing our vitality anymore right now. That seems like a loose decision. Uh, let's do this, this, and this. Lots of extra luck. I would, you know what? I would like to upgrade my weapons some more. That seems fine. Let's upgrade this to max. Does it change? Just the damage, whatever. Nope. Oh, look, look, we got it again. Uh, this is the power of luck right now. That I am showing off. A mystical finger. I mean, sure. Whatever. Look, we got a little bit of vitality. I don't I don't know how they're supposed to stop us. I really don't. This is some like Huey versus Homelander shit going on right now. Like how what is he supposed to do? Prior to like the V the V blood and all actually no he doesn't he well okay spoilers for season three of the boys if you don't want to hear it skip ahead like 15 20 seconds doesn't Huey just get like invisibility he doesn't get like Superman's shit so right so he's just like again what's he gonna do against Homelander and he, okay and not no more spoilers but even if he did like still what is he supposed to do it's it's dumb like, I was almost tempted to buy Mortal Kombat 1 just for, um, just because, you know, Homelander and Omni-Man are going to be in it. But I actually watched the story. Uh, if you haven't taken the time to, oh, ho, 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 yep, yep, that's the one. Uh, if you haven't paid attention to Mortal Kombat games over the pre re recent years, their actual like fan is insane here their actual story and like the campaign mode is really great the problem with the games uh has been like i just don't care for the gameplay lately um how do we make this work let me just sell this just put this here Yeah, that's fine. Um, the story for the games are actually pretty enjoyable. Like MK9 through 11. Especially if you just... There, there's a... I forget the name of the channel. They're on YouTube, but they skip all the fights. They like, they'll show the beginning of the fight and then it'll like clip to the end of them winning. You just get the story content. It's not like... Don't get me wrong. It's not incredible. But... It's interesting, and there's some fun characters, right? The story for MK1 is ass. It's not good. I was so disappointed. It was it was like Game of Thrones, Game of Game of Thrones, Game of Thrones season eight rushed, and I I hated it. 
which is disappointing. Actually, I don't even know why I'm talking about this. Don't do that. Go watch the story mode of Injustice and Injustice 2. Also made by the same people who made Mortal Kombat. Uh, those story modes are fantastic. And the cinematography and everything. It's wonderful. And it's got superheroes. Um, I don't. Does it matter what we're doing here? We don't have a lot of money, unfortunately. Negative 12 resource gains is not great. That is a that is a significantly better scythe. Um we could I do think we could actually fit it. Wait, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Jeff's cooking real quick. Let's go ahead and just get rid of just get rid of that. Oh. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay. Well. That's pretty good. This goes up here. Oh, we, we do have to rearrange some stuff a little bit. I'm gonna buy this deck of cards because it's fantastic. This comes down here. These guys go up here for extra armor. We're down to, oh, we're down to 133 armor. That's good. Um, yeah. There's another tier three scythe. Okay. Just going to put that right there. More bracers. Now nah, we're at like diminishing returns now. All right, this one's gone. Yeah, the game really gets out of control when once you like figure out what you're doing and especially on the strong characters. I didn't realize this was only wave 14. I could have, you know, I would have really thought we were in like wave 17 or 18 with what we have right now. But yeah, this is broken. Everyone who told me Golem was like disgustingly powerful uh, a few days back in the comments. Uh, you were totally right. Everyone who said it was right. You guys 100% not close. This guy's absolutely disgusting. He has no business having all these stupid stats to begin with. And yet here we are. And again, I don't even know if this is optimal what we're doing and I don't think it like <laughs> I don't think it matters. I mean, optimal in the sense of our weapon usage. I think, I think like our item choices and whatnot have been correct. Uh, I, I mean, the lightning spear is kind of like a, that's a pet thing, really. Um, I, you know what? You just open up, open up the world. No, none of these things. We will take another deck of cards. It's, I think it's pretty good. We have no recovery. Yeah. Not great. There's a great axe that does decent DPS. For sure. Um, It has 69 attack speed. Ooh, can I even, am I legally allowed to turn that down? The problem is I don't uh, I don't have the space. It's just everything takes up so much. Um, we would have to. What could we even do? I don't know. We'd have to rearrange our whole inventory for that, and I'm just not here for that. Um, more enemies is good because that means more materials and stuff. Turtle shells, obviously, just just insane. Um, sickle's not bad. I don't want to take the thorn bracer because it's like percent damage down. We can upgrade this halberdo unless we want to try and fit it in, but I'm sure we'll find another one. 
and then oh we could just go with another miniature lantern for the most uh the most range possible with our 108 range golem i'm gonna so for funsies we're gonna walk over here into this corner right let's just see okay well he tried to attack us that didn't go well Can they make it to the screen? Almost. We're mostly off screen everybody. I'm going to walk actually walk forward here just for the sake of any sort of like crates that might spawn for the potential of getting free levels and literally no other reason. Like the lantern's just insane. It's kind of like the gentle alien of this game. You want more enemies obviously and then you want more range there, there's no downside to it and it's only two slots it's crazy i don't know it's actually insane um probably need to start doing this because uh, uh well that doesn't work in that direction although actually maybe it this does it does it do uh i could also throw it on the back of this which would be kind of cute but you know just put this here because why not uh night gauntlet no no i think we're fine with that Anything here? Golden chain's really funny, but the problem is we don't have the um we don't have the negative move speed synergy items currently. Okay. I will accept that. Um I do want this. I do I think we can sell a lantern and I think we can sell a deck of cards and just take this more elites is fine. That's a trident. That is. Yep. It sure is. Um, why is the damage so low? I don't know. I'm going to lock it because I'm we're probably going to find a way to slip it in. Um, Yeah, so there's going to be elites every wave. I don't care. Uh, they're just going to give us percent damage and armor, which is also it, look, he's he's done. Look at him, though. Look, look at this poor little guy. Look at this little beholder. Oh, he's gone. He's he has such a sad, such a sad little death. Y'all, this is wild. <laughs> this is so... This is so dumb. Okay, I, I have an qu actual question. So, there's obviously the DPS meter on the top right, right? What is the XP meter? What is it? Like measuring I have no idea we have four spaces four whole spaces so realistically right we want this spot Come on. I'm willing to spend some money here. This spot also works. Right. So what we're going to do, we're going to bring this down. We're going to bring this down. Actually, we're going to move this out of here. We're going to bring this, bring this. This goes here. This doesn't fit, apparently, because it takes seven slots instead. Well, 
hamburgers. Okay. But this goes here. Uh, this comes out. This goes up here. This also does not fit because of the same issue as such. That goes here. Now we're fighting with tridents. Why does it do so little damage? 641? Is that... Oh, it is on track. I was looking at... I'm not smart. I was looking at the stupid <laughs> damage number, not the other one. Um. Well, now I don't know what to do with all these items, though, because, like, the attack speed is really important, but the range is really important. I guess we could drop this eight armor over here. And then we have this awkward stuff here. Wait, wait a second. Maybe, maybe we do this and this. Spin this around. Put this here. Put this here. Sell this. Um. Not exactly it. You could sell this dice too. Here we go. Here we go. This comes down here. This goes up here. This goes here. I did it. Um, I guess we'll roll a few times just to see if there's anything, you know, spicy or whatnot. Definitely things that are spicy, but nothing that's really like grabbing hold of me. I guess we can purchase a bracer back. It's a good good use of your money to, you know. Buy and sell the same sell and buy the same items over and over like that. Can't go wrong with it. All right, we will upgrade the trident because it is cool, and that is why I purchased it. Um. Oh. Oh, actually, hourglass doesn't work here because we can't get dodge, right? Right. So hourglass actually doesn't do anything. Sadness. Personified. I will take a red cube. And we can just go on. We just go on with our life. Yeah. Yeah. No reason to drag it out. This doesn't have to be an insanely long video. I probably. I'm probably gonna just uh, chill on the next couple floors as or the next couple of shops instead of spending a while just because of. Uh, I mean, look. I mean, what, what are they supposed to do? <laughs> I mean, we have too much damage reduction. We have too much damage. We have too much range. Movement speed doesn't even matter. I guess the only thing we're missing is our HP. Our max HP is kind of low, but our effective HP is insane. So that doesn't matter either. Um, our single target strong, our AOE is strong. It's it's just all good. It's just all good. Um, look quick. Three vitality gain per floor. No, no. Um, I will just straight upgrade this instead of trying to buy a new one. Well, let's just take the potion belt because it's. The extra vitality we don't have and then from there we could get another thunder spear if we wanted i'm not really concerned let's just do this and we'll save our money into the next into the next shop yeah like uh, whatever also we're getting stronger every wave because of the elite necklace that we have. We're literally gained 5% damage and 2 armor. I, I wish we had taken the Malevolent Observer item 
before, so there would have been more elites. That's one of my favorite builds. It's like if you get if you get the necklace plus you get the malevolent observer and you're able to defeat all the elites without too much trouble, then you start scaling into just like obscene levels. Which to be fair To be fair, we have completely crushed this run. At at no point has it been even remotely close to uh, threatening. Unlike a lot of other runs, which in the early stages you can you can get into a little bit of trouble if you're not careful. Um, I'm just gonna make space, roll a few times. See, there's a turtle shell. I mean, we're supposed to take it. It's attack speed down. Kind of sucks, but. It's fine, we get, oh, more elites, nice, nice. That's actually kind of good. Oh, and there's an extra life because, you know, just in case um, we weren't strong enough before, I feel like an extra life is really gonna help us out. Oh, there's 25% attack speed, cool. Um, Yeah, oh, and then a pocket watch, that's, that's a good one. Oh, there's another elite, and then some more life steal. Which is damage. Oh, and then there's another, you know, then there's another 25% um, attack speed. So, um, good luck. There should be like four elites this wave, right? We're just tanking it. Okay, yeah. That's reasonable. It's a reasonable thing to do in a wave. I do kind of wish the elites dropped. Um, you know what would be cool? If the elites just dropped items that went on like outside, like your temporary inventory, and you can just like choose to add them. I think that would be a really neat addition to the game. Obviously, there's like some difficulty tweaks that need to be made anyway, because like we're, you already kind of want to be doing that. But right now, I don't think that in elites not giving anything special is that great. Like they don't give a level. They don't give a chest or anything. They don't really. Like. They don't spark joy like they should. Um, We'll put this here. I'm going to put this here. I'm going to roll a couple times, but. We're going to the last wave and we are we are far beyond what we need to be uh, power wise. We have enough room for a two slaughter here. We could take dust. But honestly, like, what are we even doing? Um, I will take this, though. More attack speed, I like that. Give me... Sure. Sure. Um... That's, that's the one. That's it. Uh, we could also, like, sell cards and whatnot. Whatever. We're fine. We're hitting for... Obscene numbers. Wave 20 with extra elites. I am gonna walk out of the way of that because that will kill us. This is the only time we'll actually have to move. Not his like melee attack, but the um, the, bl the blood blades, that will do it. Uh, this was disgusting. Just completely dominated and basically with whatever we wanted to do. Um, Wow, Golem is busted. Y'all are right. Okay, what is Golem's... What is his thing that makes him better? Uh, adjacent armor grants 30% armor equal to their armor value. Adjacent weapons gain one range for each armor. Oh, so you just get... <laughs> you just get range, which is arguably the best stat, and you also get bonus armor. I don't know if that's... Yeah, it's probably better than Crest. I don't know. That's insane. That's insane. Golem's busted. Are we? Did we finish Juggernaut now? 
we did. Juggernaut's the first character that I've got all three in difficulty five. What a baller. All right. Well, anyways, guys, thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, all that YouTube stuff. Really means a lot. Loving all the positive feedback y'all are giving. I mean, uh, you know, means the world. Anyways, have a great day. I will see you tomorrow. Jeff out.